All right, so I'm using both setups here. Let's see if I can get this camera angle right here. All right, I'm using both setups. I'm using the um, the jig from the Fest tool that holds small work pieces uh, centered. I've got that adjusted, but you can see I've got I've got slop this way. I want this to to make sure that it registered off off of this plate and doesn't get affected uh, by this setup. So it'll be down tight to the workpiece, but then I use those those uh, fences to get my adjustment right to my center line so that I know I'll get a good cut. So it's just a matter of careful measuring and marking and then uh, making your cut. we have a problem here. <laughs> I cut that one without having my spacer in there. I had no idea what I was thinking. So I'm going to have to cut this in half, glue it in there, give it time to cure, come back and recut it. And hopefully you won't be seeing that. Okay, I've been away from the project for a few days. Uh, Besides the weather being nice, uh, there's been some other things going on. But uh, I just had, I came to the realization that I cannot use the tight setting on all these joints. I just could not get it square. So after redoing uh, the joints, um, I, I, I left the joints alone that go cross grain. The ones that are going with the grain um, those are the ones I adjusted. So all the jo all the uh, domino joints in the um, domino mortises in the legs are all tight settings, and anything running uh, perpendicular to a to a uh, a piece is a tight setting. So I loosened up the other ones. I've now put it back together, dry fitted it, and I am very 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 happy with the way. It lines up now, and uh, um, one thing I did do here is I made some spacer boards that I'm going to use in the glue up. I'm going to have to do this one side at a time, and um, that's going to keep my drawer spacing cons uh, consistent and my uh, wine rack opening consistent. This one is a sixteenth of an inch narrower than this one. But I don't care about this one. That's open storage. It's just going to be open. This is the one I want to be consistent with the uh, with the X's that are going in there. My opening here is perfect, 18 inches. So um, this is just a dry fit, but I'm very happy with the way it dry fits together. So. Well, the good news is it goes together. Uh, at least I can dry fit it and I've got what I want mirror images of everything so um, like I said panel here panel 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 so one two three four one two three Six of them. I thought I only needed five. I forgot. I'm, I forgot this one here. 
So five or six panels. All right, I'm trying to come up with a strategy to put this thing together. And what I have come up with is to put these two frames together, uh, not glue them to the legs, but just glue these joints uh, inside. So all the uh, leg joints will just be floating for now, and I'll glue uh, one, two, three, four joints. Uh, giving me hopefully a, a pretty solid frame and then uh, I can uh, put that together to, to the two side panels as one piece. Um, Got to gotta build my um, dividers here out of plywood, uh, my panels I should say. So I've got these um, 90 degree clamping uh, frames, or what do they call them things? Clamping squares. So I've got those down here in this opening. I use my spacers up on top, uh, push everything to the top, and uh, it squares it up pretty nicely. Uh, checked my reveal here uh, on both legs, and that's identical, so that's good. Um, Hopefully I can get this thing put back together in a reasonable amount of time uh, and, uh, and get, it, get it going. What I'm going to do first is all the, all the tight fitting uh, dominoes will get glued, you know, a little bit of glue and the domino slid in there, uh, making it more or less a rigid tenon. And then wherever it floats, uh, that's when I'll put the glue on those joints and uh, put it together the way you see it here. So I'll be able to do this frame. I'm going to take this top one off. I just uh, put that together to make sure everything was going to go together. But I'll do this this frame here. Let it set for you know a good hour or so. Uh, then take the legs off, um, remove the frame, and uh, then do the other one. In a little over an hour, I'm going to take these clamps off, see how we're doing. See if I can flip this over here. Take a look at the glue. This is the show side, so I want to get this glue off of here. Do the other one the same way. Uh, let this. Oh, I'm gonna do that. Gotta get it somewhere where it doesn't get too much stress on these joints. I'll figure out a place to lay. I'll probably just end up laying it on the floor, uh, and then I can sand it, you know, and uh, especially the outside this face get everything nice and finished up but that's gonna that's gonna be great if I can get the other one to end up the same way I'll be happy as all get out <laughs> 